bring this because this is likely her last appearance at Worlds. If she gets the start she got in her heat, I think she could win the whole thing and upset Sharika Jackson. If she gets the start she had in the semifinal, her task becomes a lot tougher to win that third consecutive world title. She is going for her sixth 100 world title, her third in a row. The Jamaicans swept this event last year in Eugene. Dina Asher-Smith was fourth. Two of those Jamaicans, the top two on the podium, Fraser Price, the world champion, and Jackson, are back. Does anybody else from the rest of the world have an answer for what the Jamaican women have done to this event at Worlds? On the far left of your screen is Shakari Richardson in her first world final. She has to get a better start than what she got in the semi. She's got to have a much better start because at least then she gives herself a chance. This is a world championship final. You're not going to run down people if you give them too much of a, of a lead. The two Jamaicans in the middle, Sharika Jackson and then Shelly Ann Fraser Price and Julian Alfred on their outside, blue top, black bottoms. Set. Women's 100 World Final. The Jamaicans get out well. It's Sharika Jackson, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Talu. Here comes Shakari Richardson. Shakari's done it. Shakari Richardson has won the world title. She had to come from behind in the semi, but when it counted, she has done it. Richardson has stunned the sprinting world and is a world champion. That's a world championship record, a personal best, but short memory, Lee, after a bad semi-final, she recovered and ran the race necessary to upset the Jamaicans and wrest the world title back from Jamaica. It's back in the United States hands for the first time since 2017. That was the race of Shakari's life, and she delivered.